talked about Lake Whitney. We mm -hmm. talked about Lake Limestone. A lot of the rain that we saw last week fell across the northern half of central yeah. Texas. But then Saturday came mm -hmm. and we saw a pretty good downpour, a pretty good little storm system that worked across the southern counties, including Bell County. This is a look at the rainfall over the last 48 hours. So this goes back to Saturday morning. And you can see the track of that storm center. And this was a severe storm at times, producing gusty winds. Look where that rain fell, though. It didn't hit the Waco, the, the Whitney uh, Aquifer, or the Waco and Whitney watershed. Sheds rather, but rather down to the south, fall right where it needs to for Stillhouse Hollow. And already we're seeing rises along the Lampasas River that rolls into it. So hopefully that means we're going to see Stillhouse Hollow come up here soon as well, which means all of our lakes will have benefited from this rain, at least in some form, which is great news. Lower 60s out there. Currently, we've got dry air in place now that is leading to a nice morning. In fact, there are some upper 50s out in Jonesboro. Heiko, you're waking up some upper 50s this morning. 62, Waco and Temple, 65 in Kalina. Eastern County, Centerville, one of the cool spots at 57. Not as cool as you head down Highway 6 into the Brazos Valley. Lower 60s is where we start the day. We're back to 87 by noon. Temperatures climbing up to around the lower 90s this afternoon. And what you can thank for that is this cold front that swept through over the last 24 hours. High pressure filling in, and that high pressure allows that sinking air to fall down into those lowest line valleys, which is why you're seeing some 50s. And by afternoon, we're looking at the lower 90s, which is about where we should be for this time of year. So finally, some normal weather in place. Isolated thunderstorms may try to work into some of our western counties Tuesday. I don't expect much. In fact, I don't even have rain chances in place for the middle of the week. But by the end of the week, it's looking like we could get the south winds going, bringing back that moisture at the same time. A cold front comes in as we get into Sunday, and that means at least isolated rain chances are setting up. I'm not expecting extremely heavy rain like what we saw here this past week, but hey, Every little bit will help, so we can hope we get those rain chances a little higher. 92 for today. Overnight, not as cool, but I still think some mid-60s, maybe even some low-60s for some lower Lion River valleys. Mid-90s take over for highs as we go through the end of the week. And then look at the cool down coming with that next cold front, Joey. Upper 80s next week. Oh, that's looking nice, Josh. Thanks.